Hello everyone, welcome to Go Game Yourself, I'm Jordan, and I am playing this week's Tavern Brawl, which is called The Masked Ball! And there's a lovely image of a murloc with... It kind of looks like the target dummy of someone painted a, a little goatee beard and moustache on him. And what have we got? At the SI7 mansion in Stormwind, they have a grand masked ball every year. Everyone is in disguise. When a minion dies, its disguise is revealed. Showing the minion to actually be a different random minion that costs two less and ready for another fight. Right, well I have to create a deck, so I'll go and do that and then we'll get stuck into this thing. I must protect the wild. I will fight with honor. Ah, we're gonna get rid of all of these. So I'm playing a paladin for a change. I used to use paladin a lot, but I've kind of veered more towards druid, which you can determine my from my previous videos. Oh, hello! Well, well hello! And I think, so what's going to happen in this is that when these minions die, they're going to be replaced by another random minion, or we're going to get a card for a random minion, and it's going to cost two less. So there's a bit of a, a portal, unstable portal mechanic going on, I think. I'm not completely certain. We'll find out soon enough. Hopefully these guys are all wearing masks. And I'll get a good random minion from those. I don't know if the cost is going to be the same in terms of, like, if it's going to be replaced with another one cost minion. Time will tell. Let's find out. And nothing happened. For justice. These guys might not count. I never thought of that. My shield for well, let's see what happens here. Ah, so they... Yeah. They are not going to count. Hmm. Ah, he's been... Mad Scientist has come out to play. And he'll get replaced, so every minion's gonna get replaced. Interesting. So is it gonna be two less than the one that got played? So he's cost three. He costs two. If I get rid of these. He was one. Oh yeah, so it is gonna be a cheaper minion each time. That's interesting. The minions that get left behind that eventually get unveiled can't go lower than the cost of one. But until then, anything with a high cost is going to you know, be replaced with one that's too, that costs two less. And so on and so on and so on until you get something like the Mana Worm. I haven't got off to a good start at all here. I haven't quite understood the mechanic. Now, the Sludge Belcher, when it dies, it's going to leave one of those green slimy things behind. And I don't think it's going to have this death rattle of being revealed. And also, because it's cost one, it's the lowest it can go anyway. Oh, okay. So it's a three. So the next, when this dies, when the Dancing Sword is killed, there'll be a one cost minion. To deal with. Hello. My seal Let's do that. And yeah, I guess there's no point in doing much else. Should get rid of one of these at least. I've got the beast in my sights. So you want to create a high cost deck. You mean, what do you mean to be a decent high cost? Oh no! That's not what I wanted or needed at all. I've lost. Well played. So that was a completely catastrophic. Catastrophic? It's catastrophic? Catastrophic. Start. We'll play another game and see if we can do a little better. Well, I made a few changes to my deck. I've thrown in some piloted treaders and also some piloted sky golem because they will leave one behind and then the one that's going to replace those. The one wearing the mask will 
you know, so there'll be two minions on the board after one of those are killed, which is really useful. So up against a priest this time. Mm, not a great start, but I'll stick with it. You just have to hold out for a very long time. Is someone injured? Ah, because this is a one cost card, it's not it doesn't have the the mask unveil death rattly mechanic thing. I'm still gonna do nothing. Now I will play the piloted shredder. No, maybe not. Maybe I'll just defender of Argos this guy. Oh no, the wrath can go here. Aha! Exactly as I planned. Well, I guess you can't go to. You can't go to zero mana. Even though there is minions that do have cost zero mana to play, the option isn't being given. Could you? Well, if I play, if I increase these two, no, I'm gonna get rid of that. I've got a decent hand, no magic cards though, but I didn't put many in, which is probably a mistake. Yeah, that's why. I'm glad I still have this guy. Still gonna be useful. And we'll play Sludgy Belcher! Now next I will play the piloted Sky Golem. Which gives me... It's from a 6 to a 4 to a 2. In terms of what's gonna be left behind. So I can fill up the board pretty quickly. Oh, I don't like this one. It's a six cost, so it's got a bit of a string as well. Ah, that's useful. Although he's gonna die in one hit. Let me change your mind. Or not at all. Mm. Oh nice. Loads of stuff. Let's My shield for do that. I'll bring in one of these reinforcement dudes. Reinforcement dude! This guy still has to... Hey! And again. This match is going a little better than the last one. It's turn seven and I'm still alive. Hmm. Should have probably taken one of these two out. But that's fine. I think, for now. I'm gonna have to heal up, I think, soon. Might play the Guardian of Kings, or maybe I'll just go with the Doctor Boom. Oh, what are the chances of getting the same bloody minion? Uh, that can't be good. That's the combination I was looking for. I may as well use it. No. I shall not save you. I 
Oh, excellent. That was good. That worked out well. Mm, get rid of that. Do a bit of damage to the hero's face. I totally boned right now. That's not what I wanted to happen at all. Let's go with Dr. Boom Boom. And hopefully this person doesn't have another mind control card. That was unfortunate. This might take a while. No, maybe not. Okay, not the best thing. This is still a close game that I can very easily lose, especially when that happens. I hear Thought Steel when it's played against me. I think I'm gonna go with. Um, do I get. If I can get rid of this, which I probably won't be able to do now, that's good. I think I'll have to play this guy. I can't do that. Put your faith in the light. Please don't kill this guy, although losing him wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, because he's an 8, he'll go to a 6, which could bring in some very cool minions, and I'll get a weapon out of it, which I can smash these things up with. Oh, there we go. Let's see what we get now. Not a bad card to end up with. Not at all. This has worked out quite well. I'm quite pleased. I am really angry. Damn it! I'm just gonna get rid of that thing. So that I can at least play this and continue on attacking. Ah, oh, there we go. That's why I don't like Thought Steel being used against me. I can do that too, you know. can still win. Not... Well, no, I can still win. That worked out pretty well. Unless... No, you have, you have no mana. You can't do anything more. You've ruined me enough. Come on, admit you defeat. Yay! So this is an interesting mechanic, and I don't know if you really want to, what way you want to consider building your decks for this. If you want to go in with loads of high mana, because you could lose very early. Anything that drops another minion, I think, like the pile of the shredder, is worth having because you can get two minions when one dies. So I'd go with that, and I get my pack of cards. Yay! And some gold. So that's the masked ball and I suggest you attend. And if you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more updates. There seems Gamescom Gamescom is on this week and Blizzard have been busy announcing a bunch of stuff that's going to happen with Hearthstone in, in the future. So it's worth checking it out to see what you're in for and even if you haven't started playing this, now is a good time, now is as good a time as any to get started playing Hearthstone. But for now, I've been Jordan, this has been Go Game Yourself, thank you for watching, bye!